Range and Deviation Practice Problem 2. You are on course 203 per standard magnetic compass when you sight Block Island North Light in line with Block Island Arrow Beacon bearing 194 degrees per standard magnetic compass. Based on this, I'm going to read down the answers here. You know the correct deviation is 3 west, should swing your vessel to check the deviation table, should apply 15 west compass error to all compass readings, you know you are steering a true course of 185. Let's solve this problem. I'm going to set up a template here, same one I always set up. T, B, M, D, C, compass error equals variation plus deviation. And our heading, which yields a deviation, which we are checking. So let's get what we can from the problem right now. We're, our course is 203, 203 degrees PSC, which gives what deviation? 210, 195 is 2.75. So I'm going to go with 3 west, right in the middle. 3 west, this is what we are checking, so we'll put that aside. It says... When we sight Block Island North Light in line with Block Island Arrow Beacon bearing 194, 194 degrees PSC. Okay, we know the variation is 15 west. And we can't fill in the deviation because this is what we're calculating. Down here, variation 15 west plus our calculated deviation goes here. So now we need to get a true bearing so we can get magnetic calculate deviation, we can get our compass error, and we can check the two deviations. So, Block Island North Light in line with Block Island Arrow Beacon. North Light and Arrow Beacon. Here's Block Island. Here's the north side. Here's the North Light. And the Arrow Beacon is here. Okay. So it's bearing... 194, so we know what side of the compass to use. That side, the one that's 194. Now these, if you're one or two degrees off when you get the answer to these, it gets, it's a little confusing. But, we'll see. 194. Okay, here's 181. I'm seeing 182. 182 degrees true plus 15, 192, 197. So to get from 194, 197 to 194, we need to subtract 3. So we get 3 east. That's what we're calculating. Now look at this, 3 east, 3 west, right? These do not check off. And our compass error is 15 west and 3 east is 12 west. Okay, so this is a big deal. These do not check out. So let's read the answers. You know the, you know the correct deviation is 3 west. No, we know it to be 3 east should swing your vessel to check the deviation table. This is the correct answer, and I'm going to come back to explain it. But I'm gonna go through the rest of these so we can see why they're wrong. Should apply 15 west compass error to all compass readings. No. No, you are steering a true course of 185. That's what happens if you put this heading in here and work it up, and that's not correct. So here's our correct answer should swing your vessel to check the deviation table. What this means is basically create another deviation table. What you do to swing your vessel is you make sure that these two points are in a line so you know the true bearing is correct and you know the variation is correct so you get a magnetic. Now these three don't need to change, right? If you, if you always have those two points in a line but this compass down here, as you swing your vessel, meaning get a heading of zero, 
and then take this bearing. Put in compass, calculate deviation, and then do it again for 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, 210, and keep swinging your vessel and taking that compass bearing, and it's going to change by deviation. So because these are the same, when your heading changes, deviation changes, which gives you a different compass bearing, and you can calculate that out, and that's how they created this table. That's what they mean by swing your vessel and check the deviation table. You're going to get that answer when the deviation table says west and your calculation says east or vice versa.